Now let's start reproducing it first by outlining the general profile of our door jump. So we discard this uh, serration first and create first its general outline. And let's uh, create it into method, okay? So let's try the long cut by using polyline. So let's invoke AutoCAD to do the polyline command. So PL, enter. And let's start near on our UCS. So for the first point, let's uh, click here. And let's use the direct distance entry method, okay? So make sure that your ortho is toggled on. So F8. And then direct your cursor towards the direction of your line. So we will be reproducing this line. So towards this and the distance is 150 enter okay and then the next line is from here towards there okay so drag your cursor towards the direction and then type the distance and then enter then similarly towards that direction and then we need 50 distance enter okay and towards the east again with a distance of 10 enter and then towards the south again uh, that's a distance of 80 okay so 80 enter then towards the west let's input 5 enter again towards the south again it's 5 enter and then we have an arc okay and of course we have option for arc in the polyline command so let's choose arc by either clicking this option or just typing A and then enter. AutoCAD prompts you to specify end point of arc, but for me, I'd rather choose the center point. Okay, so let's type CE for the center point and then enter. And then specify center point of arc. Of course, the center point is from here towards here is of course 10. Okay, so let's drag our uh, cursor towards the west direction and then input 10 and then enter okay so we have located now the center for the arc and you may notice that the arc builds up from east north west south direction so it's counterclockwise so according to autocad we could hold the control key to switch the direction so let's hold the control key and then move your mouse and there it turned into a clockwise direction and then just drag your mouse towards the south and then click. Make sure to hold and press the control key until you click the end point of the circle. And then again, AutoCAD prompts you to specify the end point of an arc. Of course, we don't need another arc. We need another line. Okay, so let's choose the option for line. So type L and then enter. Then drag your mouse towards the south. And then of course, we need to input, that's of course 5, enter. And then we could just type C to close the polyline. And there we have created the general profile of our door jump using the polyline command. Now let's create it again using the lazy man's uh, style or the lazy method so rectangle this time enter and then let's uh, align okay our first corner from this point and then drag it and then just click here and then let's type our coordinates 50 comma 150 enter and then another rectangle enter from this point negative 50 negative 10 so negative 10 comma negative 50 enter then after creating those two rectangles let's invoke the trim command pr enter enter okay and then just delete those excess geometries and when we select them they are separate entities so select both entities and then invoke the join command so j enter so that it will become 
one geometry. And let's create this arc geometry. Okay? So we could either offset this one with a 5 distance. So offset and offset distance of course is 5. Enter. Then click. And so we could just fillet this one. Okay? So fillet. Enter. And then let's specify a radius which is of course 10. So radius. Enter. 10. Enter. And then fillet these lines and then I could just select this one and then explode so X enter then I'll remove this unwanted geometries so select on this excess geometries and then erase okay and then I have there the arc already and then just type L enter to create this line and then another line here going up so from here towards that it must be 5 enter and then close the line enter invoke again the trim command so tr enter enter and just delete this excess and then again select them again and then join enter okay so there's at least two method of creating it in your 3d let's try to recreate again the rectangle enter so i'll make sure that it's uh, aligned in this uh, endpoint, so I'll hover my mouse and drag my cursor, and then click, then create the rectangle, and then 50 comma 150 enter. Then I'll create again the rectangle here, and then towards the southwest, and then negative 10 comma negative 50 enter. Okay. What I will do is. I'll select this and then I'll type region. Okay? So I have here region. And please reserve this for 3D. I'm just demonstrating uh, how you could create a, a rabbit of a uh, molding. So select on region. And then, okay, let's select them and then enter. Now they are turned into region. Let's uh, select this on our canvas. Let's change the visual style. Let's make it to shaded. And there, a region is created. This will make your files uh, larger. So, reserve this for 3D. But I'm just demonstrating how to create this also. Because anyway, uh, your next CAD will be 3D. So, let's uh, turn it back to 2D wireframe. And this time, let's invoke AutoCAD to do the subtract command so su or subtract enter and then let's select first this big rectangle and then enter and then select this small rectangle okay and then enter and there it's subtracted already that region but uh, reserve that for your 3d so let's just uh, delete this one place enter and then let's do a quick save Roll S. 